Welcome to the A-Level Group Small Business Video Tutorial using Microsoft Excel. Today we are going to cover some basic formulas and functions that are worth knowing and uh, will definitely make uh, using Excel a lot easier for you. Um, the features worth knowing that uh, we will uh, learn and use in this tutorial are uh, the fill handle, uh, which is this little box right here, uh, absolute reference, as well as the mixed reference. Uh, the formulas that we'll cover are the sum formula, product, and subtotal. Uh, if you have not done so already, you can download this template uh, by clicking download template to the right of this video. Now, I have already set up um, what appears to be an employee um, calculation sheet. Uh, to calculate employee sales and sales by employee uh, for a given period. Also included the product MSRP, uh, uh, which we will use to calculate the employee sales uh, dollar figures. So we could use um, a, a simple uh, mathematical function of this times this, and we'll get the correct answer. Or we could use uh, the formula, which is uh, let's see, okay. product, and click on this, and this, and close it. And we get the same answer. Now, um, given that we're going to be using this as a reference for to calculate all of these, we can either uh, use this as an absolute reference, which would require us to put a dollar sign in front of both the D and the T, um, or we could use simply a mixed reference. Um, now, the beauty of the absolute reference is that uh, you can copy down and across without uh, worrying about the, the cell um, reference not being valid. Uh, but in this case, all we're really worried about is copying the information down. So we just want to make sure that uh, this doesn't deviate uh, the reference doesn't deviate from the row 18 in its given position. All right. So press enter, and now we grab this uh, fill handle here and drag down to the last entry. Now we have the uh, dollar sales calculated for each of the employees. Now, in order to calculate the total sales, uh, we could use the sum function, which is equals sum in parentheses and highlight all the cells that we wish to add together and get the total. Um, now, we notice that uh, number nine, um, uh, only one, um, has only made one sale. And that's what we consider an outlier. Uh, so maybe we don't want to include him in that. So we can go up to format, and hide, unhide, and hide rows. Um, but the issue is that we still have the same calculation. To get around this, what we do is use a subtotal. It's a great little function. Now. All of these numbers with uh, other functions uh, next to them are function numbers for the subtotal function. Now, um, I've included a quick reference here for you, um, which illustrates that um, the functions 1 through 11 uh, will include hidden values, just like the regular sum function did before. Now, these, um, the function numbers 
um, with 100, or 100 level, these will ignore hidden values. And this is what we want for this. So, if we go again and subtotal, and we can either input or select uh, 109, which is the sum function. And now, we again highlight all the cells. And we get a much different number. Now, in this, we can use the subtotal again. And this time, we can use the regular sum function number and highlight the cells. And then we see that um, without uh, only one, um, when the line sells person, um, we have $89,424 in sales. Uh, with him, uh, we have well, $92 more. Another great uh, thing about uh, the product function is um, that there are a number of other functions that can be used uh, um, with it, um, with a subtotal function. Um, for instance, um, average. Now, we can use the average in, uh, in the one level and get an average of all the sales, including the hidden one. Um, or we can get an average of only the ones that um, sold more than uh, one uh, unit in this period. And this tells a different story, obviously. Um, now, let's see here. We've covered that. Now, here's another one from the subtotal that may be interesting. Is that there's a count function. Now, uh, count to a uh, number two function will uh, ignore or will include hidden values. Now, the count 102 will, um, I'm sorry, the count 2 will include hidden values, the count 102 will ignore hidden values. So, if we want to do some other types of analyses, um, I'll just do a simple count here. This could prove very useful to us. And so we copy all of these. And this tells us how many um, employees there were total. Now, in this analysis, now we change this to 102. And it tells us how many employees are showing. And thank you for taking the time to review this tutorial. Uh, stay tuned for more. Uh, we will be uploading uh, at least uh, one per week. And always feel free to send us an email uh, with any tutorial requests um, by uh, visiting the contact us page on alevelgroup.com. Thank you.